So welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about pricing. So when you book the PNR or when you booked flights and stored the PNR, you want to know how much does it cost. So and there are many different commands to uh, when it comes to pricing, and uh, the main difference is that some of them store a TST, others don't. And we will cover in another video what is actually a TST. So let's have a look at this uh, itinerary here. We have flights from London to Frankfurt and back, and um, we want to know what uh, is the price of these. So there are different options when it comes to pricing. We can look at the price, at, at, is, it at is it actually booked, like in Y class, or we can also look for the cheapest flight. And we can specify which cl cabin class we want to look at, and also other options like refundable fares or um, baggage fares and so on. But let's have a look at the most easiest or like most basic price and comments. If you only want to look at the price as it is booked, you would type FXX. FXX. That would only look at the price. And we can always include like the unpublished fares as well. So let's have a look at what this would cost us in Y class as it is booked. And you can see here that we have four different prices in the fare families flex and classic. And we will also have another video where we talk about fare families. You can see that these prices are pretty high. The first ones here, the these are so called IATA fares, one and two. So um, these are very expensive. Then we have the flex fare here and the classic fare here. So Y class in Lufthansa is pretty expensive. I mean 1,230 euro for a return flight between London and Frankfurt, that's not very reasonable. So, but this command, what I just typed, FXX, only look at the fares. And if you want to book them, then you would choose with the FXT command the fare that you want to book. But we have also another option. If we want to um, store the TST, then we would type FXP. And FXP uh, basically stores the fare in the TST as it is booked. So if we type now FXP, then we would get that the same picture but we would have to choose which fare actually we want. So if we now choose uh, line number four, then we would take FXT's four. So, and then we would have our TST booked here. As you can see, we have now a TST. So, but let's say now this is too expensive for us, so we want to look at cheaper fares. Then we can choose a comment that is called FXA, and this is the most common and the most recommended comment to use because it gives you a list of uh, lowest available fares f with this itinerary here. So, and then you can see that the list of fares is very much uh, longer, much more extensive. And here we have then the cheapest one is 295 euro and eight cents, so that is more reasonable for a flight, and the fare number 15 if you want to look at the fare families if you go on the next page you see that this is the classic fare here note that there are even cheaper fares with Lufthansa there are light fares but not all point of sales actually um, have the Lufthansa doesn't have uh, the light fares in Amadeus in all point of sales so that's why we don't see them here but the cheapest we can see here are the classic fares so let's say now we want to look uh, only at economy class fares, we can specify it with the KM. This is only for economy class cabin. So, okay, and we still get that one is the cheapest. If we now want to choose the fare, we could scroll down with the arrow buttons between here, or we can also type FXU13. This would book us the cheapest fare and store a TST. As you can see now, it says item rebooked, and it chooses now the T class, which is the uh, cheapest class now. Uh, booking class in the classic fair family. Okay, so now our booking class changed to T class and we have our uh, TST. Sorry, we have our TST here. So, so what else can we use? We can also, instead of uh, directly uh, using the F, uh, instead of using the FXA, we can also directly like choose the biggest, uh, the lowest available fare with the FXB command. What this does, it picks the lowest available fare and uh, stores the TST directly. And we can, uh, for example, also specify the cabin and we can specify the unpublished fares. And as you can see now, it that did exactly the same, booked the T-class here now for 295 euro. 
So this is what the fxb command does. So now we covered fxx, fxp, and fxa and fxb. <clears throat> so these are basic um, basic uh, price and commands that you can use. And we will also in another video uh, cover what other options you can add to these pricing commands um, in order to look at different options. So if you want to look at refundable fares or you want to look at baggage fares and so on. So this was a basic video now about pricing. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye bye.